Good day there everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Cliff. I'm an Australian gem cutter and in today's video I'll be featuring the Fred Van Sant Pharaoh's Eye and I'll be cutting it in a man-made emerald green spinel. I've got to tell you that this design by Van Sant is not an easy gem to cut. In point of fact it's been the most difficult design I think I've cut to date and I've never seen it posted by anyone else on the internet so I think we're in for a real treat. So here we can see the design of the Fred Van Sant Pharaoh's Eye. Now sadly Fred passed away quite a few years ago but Fred was highly respected within the faceting circles globally as one of the best gem designers out there. Now this version of the Pharaoh's Eye is actually not the original version, it's actually a spin-off from an old publication from the Sapphire Fastening Guide number 37. Now this particular design which was published decades ago was thought to be just a folly, a hoax, it really was an uncuttable gem and actually I don't think that's actually true, however Fred came up with a version that was similar that would work. So we're going to be cutting Fred's design today and we'll see how we go. So my main objective at the moment is to remove as much material as quickly and efficiently as possible. In order to do this I'm using my 100 grit diamond topper lap and this lap is fairly worn. Now with this type of spinel you have to be careful it's fairly chippy. So once these facets are cut I'll go over them again with the finer grade laps. Now as I mentioned earlier I've never seen any photographic images or any film footage of this particular design posted on the internet. Now that doesn't mean that no one's ever cut this gem, I'm sure some people have. But the sad reality is that those images that I've seen of this gem are just simply renders computer generated images and this has become a common place that people are not fastening anymore all they do is post images of gems that they create on a computer and to me they have become the manili vanilli of the faceting fraternity I really like to encourage a lot of my subscribers that are watching my videos and you're trying to learn how to cut gems Put in a lot of elbow grease into the first year or two of your gem cutting journey. Don't be like many who are just renderers and posting images on the internet. You've got to put in a lot of work to become a good gem cutter. It just doesn't come naturally. It comes through dedication and hard work. You know what, eventually you'll be cutting gems like this.
Now clearly I've hit a snag when it comes to faceting the pavilion because there is an issue with the sequencing on the original diagram. So I've gone ahead and resequenced the facets accordingly to the way I think they should work and they have worked out as you can see got a nice level girdle outline but the biggest issue with this gem is the girdle outline there's no reference points for these facets so you have to cut them in by eye which means you need to get the width and the spread of these facets to be pinpoint accurate and I think that's why you see so few of these gems actually cut because with those girdle facets, if they're not accurate, then you're going to encounter multiple issues when it comes to faceting the crown. And I would expect that I'm going to come across a few hurdles when I do facet this crown. So far creating the crown facets hasn't been an issue but we don't have too many tears but as we get into the next scene all of a sudden things start to change up as we start to close in on the table and particularly with the sequencing on the C4 facets they are really tiny some of these facets so you need a fairly large chunk of material but I've had to resequence on the run which meant I've had to retweak constantly change up the angles by floating in facets and cheating in facets to make meat points work but it has worked out well but this is not an easy design and definitely the hardest gem I think I've ever cut in my whole life so the next step is to cut the table which means we're getting closer to the end of another video and if you've made it this far that means we have the final reveal coming up so thank you for watching this video and until next time everyone take care and I'll see you around it's bye for now